Well, Mom and Dad, it's almost time. Jack's ready at last. Hey, sis, where's breakfast? Jack Russell! What? What did I do? Today's the day we've been waiting for. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. You most certainly have. Why aren't you more excited? Outside now. Aw, but I just got up. Do as you're told. sword. Yes. Jack, this is your father's legendary sword, the Arbitrator. Of course, you aren't ready to use it yet. But someday you will. Someday, Jack, you'll become a great knight like your father. You'll be a leader of men with this sword at your side. I know you will. Wow. But first, you have to pass the knight selection trials, right? Hey, no worries. Leave it to me. All I gotta do is beat everyone else, right? Listen, Jack. Not just anyone tries out for the Knights. These people really know what they're doing. Don't be too cocky or they'll make you answer for it. You can't just wave your sword around. Um, can we save the fencing lessons for later? I gotta head out or I'm gonna be late. Oh, look at the time! Jack, what are you doing? Hurry up and get going! Adele, I'll pass those night trials for sure. And before long, I'll be an even greater knight than Dad was. Ugh. He just has no idea how great his father was. No idea at all. But maybe that will be one of his strengths. Radiata Castle. I finally made it. Dad, are you watching? to fight Ridley Silverlake, right? Ha <laughs> ha, he's dead meat.
Ridley and Jack. Proceed to the Coliseum immediately. All right, Ridley. Hope you're ready. What? No way. Ridley's a girl? Sheesh, I was looking forward to a real fight. Ah, oh, man, I suck at holding back. Welcome to the official Royal Radiata Knight Selection Trial. I will be your referee for this contest. My name is Junzaburo. The test you are about to face is a traditional Radiata Knights elimination tournament. In other words, it is a completely unbiased assessment of your ability. You will earn points for every hit, but should a knockout occur, the winner will be declared immediately. Understood? Let's begin. Combatants, take your position. Selection Trials, round two. Ridley Silverlake versus Jack Russell. Begin! I... I'm... I'm gonna beat you. Contestants, it's time to announce the results. Everyone to the Coliseum. Huh? Come and get it! They're announcing the results. You're supposed to go to the Coliseum. Results? Huh? Miss Ridley was the big... You mean... Yes. Miss Ridley beat you in the first round. Uh, it seems Miss Ridley has been training to become a knight from a very young age. Even Lord Star was defeated. You should not feel too bad. I can't believe I lost.
The tournament winner, Ridley Silverlake, has passed the selection trials. And there will be one more, Jack Russell. What? But, sir, the young boy does not yet possess the skills to be a knight. Don't you recognize his name? Russell? You mean... Cairn Russell? Yes, he is the son of Sir Cairn, former captain of the Blanc Chevalier. This one may have a bright future. But Lord Lux, are you sure it's wise to place him under the command of Sir Gantz? I mean Sir Gantz. He is the son of Sir Gawain, as I'm sure you know. Cairn, Gawain, Jack, Gantz. I believe that their entwined fates could make them a powerful combination. Junesaburo, carry on, please. <clears throat> Introducing Lord Larks, Prime Minister of Radiata and Commander in Chief of the Radiata Knights, and Captain Gantz Rothschild of the Rose Cochon Brigade. New recruits will be placed under his command. And now, for the tournament results. <laughs> Ta-da! Ridley Silverlake! <sighs> and there's one more. Huh. Another one? The keen eye of Lord Larks has identified a young hopeful with a great deal of potential. <laughs> Ta-da! Jack Russell! Uh, no way! Why me? I lost the first round. Jack, as June's a girl mentioned, you have been chosen not because of what you can do for us now, but what you can do in the future. Understand that you are now one of the Knights of the Kingdom. Bear yourself accordingly and serve it well. Sir. I am Gantz Rothschild, captain of the Rose Cochon Brigade. Master Jack, Lady Ridley, we will hold the inauguration ceremony immediately. But first, please go to your assigned rooms and change into your new knight's attire. That will be all. I will see you both at the ceremony. This will be Master Jack's room. I join the knights and I have to stay in this dump? Can I help you? Huh? See, I knew there was some kind of mistake. This is your room, right? Yep, it sure is. This gentleman is Master Leonard. He will be a room leader. Room leader? Oh, it's at that time already. Master Jack, you will find your trainee knight's wear on your bunk. Once you have changed, please proceed to the third floor meeting room. You are expected at the Rose Cushon inauguration ceremony. Sir Gans is ready to begin. Do not keep him waiting. I believe that will be all. Ah, yes, I neglected to introduce myself. I am Al, the castle steward. If you need help or are confused about anything at all, please do not hesitate to come and ask me. If you would excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, wait up! You're Jack, the new guy, huh? Nice to meet you. Uh, do we both stay in here? That's your bed back there. When you're done with the death whales, come in and get changed. Fine.
Well, who looks like a little lord now? Jeez, do the royal knights really fight in this getup? <laughs> when you make captain, you can wear what you like. Until then, you stick with regulation. You know, Pops, that doesn't exactly make me feel any better. You're gonna have to learn to treat your elders with more respect. And who are you calling Pops? I'm only 21, okay? Hi! Hi! Hi.
Hi. Come in! Well, they do say clothes make the man. <laughs> you look like quite the little lord. Now, Master Jack, please take that seat right over there. What's this? Do I send some bad blood between you? That will not do. Teamwork. Teamwork is the key to the success of the Radiata Knights. She's trained to be a knight since she was a kid. It's not fair. I had no chance. Now, now, Master Jack. You'll have many opportunities to hone your skills. You bet I will. I'm gonna be better than her in no time. Well then, shall we begin the ceremony? And, um, on this, the most auspicious of days. We are all thrilled to be here for the inauguration of the Rose Cochon Brigade. Although I think I'm the most thrilled of all. This is without a doubt the best day of my life. If this is a dream, I hope that I never wake up. Of course it isn't a dream, but I'm so overwhelmed. I can't believe this is really happening. This... This isn't a dream, is it? Master Jack, would you give me a little pinch right here? <coughs> ow! I'm gonna beat you so bad! Ow! 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 Okay, it's not a dream! So now we can get down to business! M Master Jack, thank you, that, that's enough. Please, let go, Jack. Ouch! Ah. Master Jack, please, stop pinching me! Uh, sorry. Now, to business. I hereby announce the inauguration of the Gantz Rothschild Rose Cachon Knight Brigade. Hey, Captain, I have a question. Um, yes, what is it? So, what does Rose Cochon mean? What does it mean? Well, how shall I put it? It expresses the pride of the knights and our unswerving devotion to the kingdom. How exactly? Well, Rose is like pride, and, and uh, the Cochon is the loyalty to country bit. Really? Uh, no. But I really, really, really like to believe that that is the case. Right. I have wonderful news. Lord Locks has given the Rose Cochon Brigade a very important mission. Which is? We must protect a dwarf. We will escort a dwarf carrying metal goods and weapons for trade. It will be our mission to see both dwarf and cargo brought safely to Radiata. It's a real honor that the brand new Rose Cachon has been given such a super important assignment. Super important, huh? If we do well on this mission, I think we can expect to see the Rose Cachon stock rise considerably. We're on the fast track to fame. Right, we leave first thing tomorrow morning. The journey will be a long one. Please make sure that you're prepared. Uh, Master Jack. Yeah? Would you come with me after this meeting, please? Come with you? Where are you going? I think you will find it most instructive.
We need assistance over there!
Lord Jasneth, you are up very early, sir. Is everything all right? Ah, here you are, finally. Uh, I mean, um, what a fine morning, don't you think? Yes, yes it is. Lord Jasneth, today is the first mission for the Rose Cochon Brigade. Well, you be careful out there. Sir! Master Jack, this is Jasnah Colton, Lord Chamberlain of Radiata. Really? Really? Jack, your manners! Bow to his lordship! But what about Ridley? Jack, don't be a fool! Ridley doesn't have to bow! What's this? Playing favorites all of a sudden? Fool! Ow! Lady Ridley is his lordship's daughter! Huh? But... Ridley's last name is Silverlake, right? Lord Jasner was accepted into the noble Silverlake family. Their family crest is the Great Eagle of the North. Only those related by blood may bear the august Silverlake name. Oh, well, I guess we know which donkey is pulling the cart in that family. Yep, and where the donkey leads, the ass has to follow. Well said, young Jack. You have a sharp eye. You don't miss a lot, do you? Aw, oh, you're just saying that. No, no, Jack, don't be so self-effacing. A good knight must have wisdom as well as strength. Captain, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. You're more sensitive than I gave you credit for. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm an ass? My apologies, sir. He's completely new, sir. He hasn't learned a thing yet. Well, you'd better start teaching him, hadn't you? Yes, sir. Just leave it to me, my lord. I'll whip him into shape. And another thing, Gans. If anything happens to my Ridley... Sir? No, well, never mind. She is a knight now, I suppose. I can't protect her forever. But you watch her, Gantz. Can we go? Someone's there. Yes, that must be young Master Clive from the Olashian Order. Olashian Order? The Priest Guild. Guilds are organizations that provide a variety of services for the regular townspeople. In the town, we have four guilds. The Warrior Guild, the Priest Guild, the Mage Guild, and the Bandit Guild. Depending on the assignment, we knights sometimes ask guild members to join us on our missions. Open government and knights that work with the people. Lord Larks has some very progressive ideas. That's so. At the same time, it allows him to keep an eye on the guilds and maintain the balance of power. If one guild grew more powerful than the others, there would be all sorts of trouble. Yeah, I guess there would. Howdy. Master Clive? Clive, that's me. We are delighted to meet you. I just joined Alashian. I'm real new, you know. I can't do nothing yet. Nice to meet you. You can't do nothing? Nothing at all? Nope, not a thing. I can eat and sleep is all. Um, yes, well, you seem to be very, uh, level-headed. Right then, everybody, let's move out! Oh, brother. What kind of messed up brigade did I join? So no matter what happens, don't let them see you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But Lord Jasna... Hush! It's Lox. Lord Jesney, what are you doing? 
Oh, nothing, nothing, just uh, silly gossip. Uh, thank you, Natalie, that will be all. Natalie, is there a problem? No, sir, we were just talking. <laughs> He wasn't bothering you, was he? Huh? Oh, no, not at all. I see. Good. As long as it wasn't that. Now then, here are the details of our mission. All right, we finally get to do some night stuff. Don't get too excited. You're still just a rookie. Hey, we joined at the same time. I've been training as a knight for years. I wasn't let in out of pity like some of us. Say what? They're like two weasels in a whipple pot. Uh, yes. Now, about the mission. First, we must journey to the Dwarf Village in Earth Valley. We humans and the Dwarves are trading partners. The Dwarves are our allies, as it were. Their home in Earth Valley lies southwest of here. To reach the Dwarf Lands, we must travel south. The journey there should present no difficulties. The problem is the return journey. There may be goblins and orcs looking to steal our cargo. We might have to fight orcs? It's not out of the question. Are orcs really strong? Orcs are about the most violent critters around. Well, they can take down a Smilodon with one blow. Really? With one blow? You scared? Yeah, a little, I guess. But it sounds way cool, too! It sounds... cool? Well, come on! It'd be a drag if nothing happened at all! Captain, can't we leave him behind or something? Master Jack, please don't do anything that will invite trouble. Yeah, yeah, I know. Does he have any clue at all? Lady Natalie. What are we doing here? Secret orders from Lord Jasnath. Lady Ridley is his lordship's one and only daughter. She means everything to him. Then why'd he let her join the knights at all? What could he do? Lady Ridley is a Silver Lake. She has to uphold the honor of the family name. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 